everyone welcome to junk journal friday and have i got a plethora of stuff to share with you today you are not going to believe all the cool stuff i have to show first off this is a project that bob and i are going to work on while he is home it includes a board that is about eight inches long i got it on clearance and menards and you can see a mark here and this is where Bob is going to router out a groove between those two spots so that this cute little kitty cutout from Hobby Lobby can sit down in that groove. And then there's going to be room for the glass over here. So leave me a note in the comment section. What do you think Bob and I are creating? I look forward to your thoughts. Okay, so that is number one. Then, I'm recording this on Tuesday, by the way. Uh, Bob will be home in the morning. And it was, today was like Christmas. First off, I went to Dollar Tree and got some stuff. And one of the things, let's see, I got this cute little jar with this rose gold lid. And this is going to be my summer solstice jar that I'm going to put together tomorrow morning for summer solstice. I got a grater and we're going to be using this at some point probably not in the next couple three months but it's something you're going to want to have in your craft room and I got this at Dollar Tree so you know it's a good sturdy three different sizes handheld for a dollar and a quarter okay um, I'm working on a junk journal about sailing for a young man with Lloyd body dementia and I got these to uh, use in his journal and I've always wanted some of these just to keep handy fresh flower water tubes so I have those have nothing to do with junk journaling but I wanted those um, also I have the spatulas in this silicone and I love them so when I spotted a blue one in the spoon I'll use that a lot in the kitchen then I saw this for Bob it is a garden flag and it says celebrate each day and it has an anchor and I'm going to hang that before Bobby gets home in the morning I did get a sign last month that said uh, home is where you drop your anchor but I think I'm going to have this one for every day that he's home. And then I have picked this stuff up in the past. This netting stuff. It's a mesh ribbon. And I've had it in the green. And in the cream and the white. I love this stuff. And I'm going to unwrap one so you can see it. This you can snip off in little pieces and it gives you amazing texture on tags, use it on a belly band, trim on a pocket. So I've had these three colors and I picked up three more so I'd have plenty on hand because they're hard to come by and I may even put some in the shop. But then I found this one which is a little bit different cream. It's a different tone, just a hair. And then I got this natural tan and this beautiful milk chocolate. So I have lots of pretty colors of this mesh ribbon to play with. I love it. I love that ribbon. Okay, so that was my Dollar Tree haul. Let me stuff this stuff back in the bag out of the way. Because then I came home and got the mail. And I knew that I was going to get a Maddie order today, but I didn't know I was getting a paper pumpkin order today. And this one is, has a vase, thank you for your hospitality, welcome, you're invited, friend, has a floral collection there, comes with a Knight of Navy spot, which I have more than enough of those, and so it looks like we're going to be putting this together at some point. And I want to 
try not to tear the blue, but this is the cards we're going to be making. And um, yeah, I'll probably turn them all into cards simply because I need to have some thinking of you and hello friend and that kind of thing on there. And it says hello friend. It must be in a punch out because it is not on the stamp set. So that was in my mailbox when I got home. And now, as per the title says, a Spectrum Art Creations haul, that's what we're going to do next. So we have a Spectrum Art Creations box. I have cut it open so I didn't have to do that on camera and cut myself. But we're going to dig into it. I've not looked at it. I've just opened it. Got something sitting over here to record a different video. Um, let's start with the big papers. This is Bow Bunny Family Heirloom. <laughs> Y'all know how much I love my Bow Bunny. I just love Bow Bunny products. They are so pretty. They always get the color blends just perfect, regardless of what the collection is. This one is a series of maps. And book paging on the back. I love this. And I know I picked this because I have a music journal I want to do. Love this teal. I think I have some of this paper already, which means I probably have this in duplicate, but that's okay. In fact, I may have ordered a duplicate purposefully, because I'm pretty sure I showed you this in my last haul. Which means when you find a paper that you love, get more than one because especially when a collection only has one sheet and you want to use this side and this side make sure you get a collection that has two of everything or buy two sets yep i bought this family heirloom collection last month and now i have it again but that's okay because it's bow bunny because <laughs> it's bow bunny okay i'm gonna lay that down let's see um Stamping foam. If you do not know what stamping foam is, this is out by Simon Hurley. It came out probably in the 90s from commotion stamping. And you heat the, heat the piece of foam, press something into it, and you will get that relief. So if I was to press this doorknob into the heated sponge... The sponge will take on that fo that shape, and then I can I can stamp with it, and then to get rid of it, just heat it and reuse it. And I have four blocks in here. I thought I had bought some when Commotion had it out. Couldn't find any. Apparently, I didn't. Okay, let's see what else have we got. Oh, my mica tiles came in. These are so cool. If you have not played with mica tiles, um. Tim Holtz has used them um, and his makers for like creating the windows in their haunted houses. But it is a natural material and you can peel apart the layers. And the more layers you pull apart, look at that. It looks like a scratched up window. I love it. And I couldn't find it when I wanted it. Then I'm going to link Lisa Jameson's channel down below to a video. Excuse me, to a video where she played with the mica tiles. Wait till you see what all you can do with those mica tiles. And then I have this. This is from uh, Cinnabar from Prima. It is a wings and bones mold. Isn't that pretty? I'm not a big skull fan, so you know, but my husband is. And this is going to make the coolest molds to do a box for him for his birthday, which is in October. So I have that to play with. And what else is in this box? Uh, stamp set. Now, I had wanted one from Tim Holtz. And she had a heck of a time getting it from them. But she found me an alternative. And I like these boxes and circle stamps, the outlines, and these will fit in these spots. We have, hello there, you got this, shine bright, a little note, many thanks, to the moon, make a wish, focus on the good, hello friend, miss you, hope it never lost, 
uh, X's and O's. Good luck. Make today count. You are my happy. Merry and bright in my heart. Love you. You plus me. Easter time, red, white plus blue. Let it snow. Peace on earth. Boo to you. Trick or treat. Joy to the world. And holly jolly. What an amazing collection of simple sentiments for year-round crafting. So I have that. And if you're interested, it is CAS2326, I believe. No, 232. And I will, uh, if I can pull that up on her site, I will link it down below. Then there was the stamp set. This is the numbers one I was telling you about that I was getting off of her Etsy store so that I could create my own number tags for like when I did those um, specimen slides. And I have just the numbers in a couple of different sizes. I have these in two different sizes. Just the numbers, numbers in different fonts. I have these treble clef charms. I don't know if you can see those in the bag. And I'm working on, I have been saving stuff for a journal from where I uh, became friends with a uh, symphony conductor. And I had the pleasure of having him and his fiance and the Polish Symphonia as guests in my home. And so I've been working on saving stuff for a book for that. And those will be perfect in that journal. Next we have packing paper. Thank you, Bernie. I can always use that. Makes great pages and books, and it sounds so cool. These are wide eyelets. Look at the size of these things compared to a regular eyelet. They're huge. Um, these are by, we are memory keepers, and they are a .1875 inch. And I got them in the four tones of blue. I need to get them in the pink for the baby books. But I wanted them primarily for the sea journal. Then I have this from Craft Consortium. It's decoupage papers. And let's see. Where is my new widget? So I can cut that tape without tearing the package. Maybe. There we go. There are three sheets, and I can't remember what size they are, but they're huge. Probably pretty close to the size of that quarter of fabric. And I have a scallop punch that would punch these out perfectly, or to use that just on a tag, on a journal page. Uh, create a pocket. Those are not going to get very far away because I think they're going to get used on a tag for this month's challenge. We'll see. Because I can still make more tags for the tag challenge. So we have that. And I just tore that. Darn it. Tried not to do that. Um, Suntorio tag or pockets. These were a gift from one of the other purchasers. And I collect the Santorio dolls. And these pockets are so cute. I want to do a Santoro journal. And I just love those. So we have those. And I cannot remember who gifted to me. Barbara too. Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. Eh. I know they'll go in there. I know they will. <laughs> Thank you, Barbara. And then I have a couple other things. Um, I've been collecting these clips. Um, I saw Louis Hensel was doing, using these in her uh, swatch book of all her Tim Holtz inks and paints. And I love these. So I bought, I bought quite a few of those. And then I have these vintage, vintage inspired or vintage replica paper postcards and I can use some of these in a book here very soon so 
I love those. And I won those on one of the games on our uh, deal or steal no or deal no deal or steal game. And then I've got another package of those in here. And another package of the music clefts. And lastly, I have this highlight trim. I loved the color of this. I can see using this um, on my Halloween projects. I'm trying to get it open. That's why it's kind of out of camera part of the time. Because I'm trying to see where the edge is. This is going to be so fun. And I'm going to have it in a tangled mess. But that's okay. Before I put it back in that bag, I'll, ta I'll card it on one of my cardboard card bobbins but look at that isn't that pretty so I have new eyelash trim you know because I need more eyelash trim I have a bunch over here in the drawer I need to get measured out and put in the shop and I really am going to get stuff in the shop I promise um, just when you're doing three to four videos a week and trying to write a book and trying to find your house and when your husband's home for two only two weeks and you don't want to do anything but spend the time with him it gets a little interesting I feel like there's something else in there just cardboard so that is it for my um, Spectrum Art Creations haul for this time I have another big order that's going to be coming in in a couple of weeks if you have not shopped with us at Spectrum Art Creations, you are so missing out. Not only do you get hard to find products, but they offer them at the absolute best prices you're going to find anywhere. I absolutely love them. So I invite you to come check out our live sales every Saturday from at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will leave all the information for Spectrum Art Creations down in the description box below. And especially make sure you come join our Facebook group and play along with all of our challenges. We're a good group. No drama group. And we love to inspire and encourage. So that is it for me for Junk Journal Friday. It was not what I had intended, but I needed to get this one in so I could put this stuff away and start playing with it. So I will see you back here on Monday. I'm not sure what we're doing because it's not a memory decks week. So I'm not sure what we're doing Monday. But we'll do something cool. I promise. Thanks for joining me in the studio today. Tell me down in the comments section below. What did I haul that you thought was the coolest thing that you would want to own? And I will see you back here next week. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and create a blessings.